Hello everybody, welcome to this week's Crystal Channeling. Um, I'm Krista and I'm here today uh, channeling from white aragonite. White aragonite. Um, <clears throat> Aragonite comes in uh, a lot of different uh, formations, different colors. Um, this one I picked up, I think it was just a, a couple years ago. Um, it was a new one for me. I hadn't worked with it before because there are still crystals that I'm discovering too. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, I held this and I immediately felt my energy like a light beam, just just go up into higher realms of consciousness. And we'll see what comes through from this today. But the last time I attuned to uh, this crystal and 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 really kind of worked with it deeply, it took me to what it referred to as the archetypal realm. It's this realm of consciousness. It's not um, a, a spirit realm. It's like a realm of human consciousness, like part of the collective unconscious, where, uh, you know, a lot of archetypes from our literature, from our mythology, that if you really get into studying archetypes, you see are repeated over and over and over again um, in different cultures throughout the world, throughout history. Um, um, but there, there, there is a, a realm where we kind of tap into uh, the meaning of these archetypes um, and, and, and the, the thematic or symbolic reason um, for, for why we might be thinking of them or writing stories of them or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, and I found it really quite fascinating because there are things that maybe you see you know, a, a symbol or something that you've never seen before, but you just have like a gut feeling about what that symbol means um, or what that, you know, that that figure or, or picture that you're seeing, whatever it is, might might mean the kind of effect that it might have um, for you. And, and that can definitely be intuition, that can definitely be child, you know, channeling or clear cognizance, but it can also be just a very human thing of having uh, uh, connected with that archetypal realm of consciousness. So very fascinating crystal. <clears throat> and I'm going to close my eyes here and take a couple deep breaths. Ooh, that's really interesting. So again, immediately felt this flow of energy, but this time it was like it, it came up, like it came up through my throat area into my, my third eye, stopped right about here. And it feels really, really um, cool, like almost like a cool breeze, not an uncomfortable one, but like a cool breeze. And I felt it go from my throat chakra up into my ears. And it feels like there's just this whole kind of opening and activation that's taking place. Third eye is really pulsing. And I'm seeing like a, a it almost looked like a symbol um, to start and then it became sort of like a, a, a gateway and I I've seen I interesting I've seen this kind of symbolism just from uh, you know uh, just light studies into tarot and the symbolism that's used in tarot and often um, the two the two columns or the gateway that in you know in part can represent um, um, a portal or a connection or a bridge um, and I and I feel like that's you know really what I'm I'm seeing and what's really kind of opening up here. Definitely some geometric sort of sacred uh, geometric patterns that sort of filter in and filter out. And again, there's this coolness, like it almost feels like um, like you're in an altered space. Like I, I physically feel like I'm feeling this coolness, you know, in this altered space and this altered state of consciousness. And, and, you know, I heard just sort of almost like this whisper of where do you want to go? And it, it just seems like 
you know, there's this big sky of stars and, and it's really a matter of what you, you, you wish to connect to. And I definitely seeing like this realm of imagination, um, this realm of imagination opening up and it's, it's, um, you know, I'm being told that it's, it's the land of the seer, the land of the visionary, the land of the storyteller, uh, the voyager, the, the journeyman, um, and a reminder, a reminder that there's still many stories to be told. There's still many stories to be told. There's still many things to be um, invented. Uh, there's still many places to go and discover. <clears throat> and the message is really imparting um, um, this uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the importance of imagination, the importance of creativity, the importance of, you know, pushing the boundaries, um, of what we conceive, what, you know, what we conceptualize, what we feel is possible. And this isn't a, you know, a conversation sort of in, uh, you know, within the scope of what's possible with our lives or our dreams or, you know, our workout this weekend or, um, 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 and, and even so much what's possible uh, technologically, because it's saying, you know, what, what, what can happen with technology. It's not anti-technology, but obviously, I mean, here we are all connecting through technology, but, um, but it's, it's more about how it can seep from us our creativity and our wondering and our imagination. And it's reminding us that as human beings, our lives are, sto are told through stories. Our lives are told through stories. They're lived through stories. Um, Storytelling is one of the oldest, it, it is the oldest uh, form of um, <clears throat> not just um, entertainment for humanity, but connection, communication, um, um, sharing, learning about each other, this, this really powerful sort of vision and message about story, about creativity, about imagination, and about willing to put yourself out there because they're saying it increasingly becomes a place of risk when we're all sort of in spaces where we're all kind of reinventing, you know, the same wheel and everyone else's wheel and really kind of keeping in conformity with our ideas, with how we do things. Like it's even showing me in terms of business, how, you know, there, here's the latest business template and funnel and landing page and blah, 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 you know, um, and all these things. And everyone just keeps trying to all fit in this same mold. And it's saying story helps to break you out. Story also helps you to write your life in a different way. And they're saying you can even rewrite your past just even from perceiving it in a different way. So what it's saying is their message uh, for us, dear ones, um, is to not lose the love of story and not lose your ability to write and tell your story, but imagine and invent new ones and connect with people through story. And that in particular gives me chills, especially with everything that's happening in this world. I could weep. Um, but if we were all to share our story with other peoples, that's really beautiful. Um, that's really beautiful. I really like that. Remembering that we all have stories and we all have stories to share. Um, um, and inviting and encouraging people to connect um, with each other and share with each other their their story more their authentic true um, heart-based story and so that's it I'm feeling the channeling wind down um, but I think that was really lovely and, and a beautiful message um, to leave us with uh, at the end of things so white aragonite uh, there's no point in DMing me, asking me where to buy it. I have no idea, um, um, but I'm really, really glad that this one uh, came came into my life and came into my path. So thank you everyone for watching and thank you 
uh, Aragonite consciousness, and um, I will be here to share more crystal stories with you uh, through channelings uh, next week. So please stay tuned.